Hello, welcome to the Ragnarok Ready channel. This channel is all about emergency preparedness. Today's topic I want to go over is water for emergency uses. Um, just doing a quick search online, turns out that we all use, we all drink about roughly 180 gallons of water a year. That's a lot of water. However, if you broaden the search online, it turns out that we all use about 30,000 gallons of water a year. That is going to include absolutely everything between showering, washing dishes, doing laundry, etc. Now, when it comes to water storage, emergency water storage, water purification and whatnot, water is extremely heavy, very, very heavy and extremely practical when it comes to impractical when it comes to storing as it can take up a lot of space. So going through some of the comment sections of other preppers channels, a question often comes up of, can you purify water that's coming out of a dehumidifier to be drinkable? Can you purify water that's coming out of a portable AC unit and whatnot? I have an EcoFlow Wave 2 portable AC unit and that thing pumps out probably between 10 to 15 gallons of water a week. That is a lot of water. So out of curiosity, I decided to pick up one of these water test kits and do a couple different purification methods that all of us are probably familiar with. The first one, I used some of these water purification tablets that you'll see a lot of that you will see in a lot of bug out bags. <clears throat> and also, I tried boiling some water. For an emergency situation, you can pick up one of these just, you know, standalone burners if you've got a gas generator, propane generator, which again, to emphasize, you always want to have those outside at least 15 I think 10 to 15 feet away from your house in emergency situations, people will often make the mistake of putting them in your house. Do not ever have them in your home. So many people die in emergency situations because of that. Anyways, that was a bit of a sidebar. So again, I tried boiling some water using one of these, just using my um, solar backup battery, which can be used inside and is recommended to be anyways. And the results came back on the uh, water test strip. Again, this, everything looked good, except for one category, and that was nitrates. There wasn't a lot of nitrates in it, and reading these can be a little bit difficult sometimes. I threw away the test strip. They're not good, I think, after like five minutes because it just continues to you know, absorb stuff from the air and whatnot and can give, give you a false positive or whatever. But um, I was really shocked to see nitrates after purifying the water. You can't remove nitrates by boiling it or doing water purification with these tablets. However, you can remove nitrates from water by doing reverse osmosis. However, those systems can be extremely expensive. I need to do some more research into that. And I do know that there are some water purifiers that can remove nitrates. But again, I was just kind of shocked to see nitrates come up as a result, as that's something that's found in fertilizer. So I'm like, why the heck is my um, portable AC unit pumping out nitrates? That seemed a bit odd, no idea why that is. But I mean, there's your answer. Can you purify water that's coming out of dehumidifiers and whatnot? Probably. But I mean, you do want to make sure that you pick up some of these water test strips. It was relatively inexpensive. I mean, all things considered, it cost me like $35. It comes with 100 test strips. So I mean, before you ever consider doing something like that, try doing some purification methods yourself. Test it. Do not just rely on this notion that, yeah, you probably will be able to do it. Never rely on probabilities or maybes. You know, I again saw some people comment asking the question, can you purify water that's coming out of a dehumidifier or a portable AC unit? And so many of the comments are like, yeah, probably just boil it, it'll be fine. Don't just rely on it'll probably be fine. Take the extra step before you try any sort of purification methods, buy some of these test strips. Don't just rely on probably. I mean, if you end up getting food poisoning or something else as a result of having contaminated water you make yourself sick and it's a grid down situation then you're just going to be exacerbating the issue momentously 
So really take this stuff into consideration. Anyways, I know I didn't really answer the question because I want people to really think about this kind of stuff and do the steps necessary for themselves. Do your own research. Don't just rely on anybody else. Anyways, until next time, folks, this is Ragnarok Ready Channel. If you enjoy this sort of content, please like, comment, and subscribe.